Hey everyone, I'm Rookie. There is construction out right now, so if you hear that, ignore it. So the Elite teaser and trailer for season four came out yesterday and today. Uh, I just woke up to see the trailer is released, so I thought it would be a great idea to give a reaction video to this. I'm very, very excited for the season. Can't wait to see it. I saw Nadia and Carla in the thumbnail, but I thought they weren't going to be in the season. Same with Lou, so I'm hoping that all three of them are back. I don't know, but I'm just gonna start with the teaser first and then I'm going to get into the trailer and then I will discuss and then we can talk about our predictions for the season. Ah, oh, Nadia's back! Carla! Oh. Who is she trying to kill? Nadia! <laughs> Okay. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. So those are short stories before the actual season, because I think the season premieres June 18th. So the 14th, 16th, 15th, 16th, 17th, it's, it looks like I'm going to be watching all these short stories on this channel. So, oh, by the way, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and I'm going to watch the season four trailer now. <sighs> Okay, I'm excited. Here we go. Uh oh. I already like all these new characters just by looking at them. Oh no, we have a Nadia replacement. <laughs> oh, Nadia is in the season. Oh, thank God, thank God, thank God. Get it, Kai. Oh. Yes, Rebecca. <laughs> Everyone is bisexual in this show. I love it. Ooh, oh my god. I saw punches. Oh shit. Wait, 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 wait. It looks like something sh like shit goes down at that party with the fireworks. I, I don't know. What would be the equivalent of a Spanish 4th of July? I don't know. Or maybe, I mean, they're rich. They probably just have fireworks for like someone's birthday or something. It's probably a birthday party. But I'm so excited! Okay. I need to, I need to, hold on, I need to rewatch that one more time. It looks like they're giving statements, probably to that prosecutor lady, while the party's still going, with fireworks still going. Also, there's another new guy, which, who wasn't in the promo stuff. It showed three new people in the promos, and I, there's an extra one, there's an extra guy that I don't remember seeing, which is odd. Maybe he's just not as important to the story. Oh yeah, there's police. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this. I have one issue and it's that Lou is no longer in this. I don't understand. She was the best character last season. I feel like everyone pretty much agrees with that. Tell me if you agree with that Lou was the best character last season because I'm pretty sure she was. Like she grew on, I think everybody. She started out as like the unlikable one in the beginning of season one, but but she's honestly the best character and I can't believe they got rid of her. And it looks like Carla's not going to be in the season as, at, at all, either. She's just going to be in that short story, possibly. Lou doesn't even get a short story. I noticed that too. There's four different short stories. Lou is in none of them. They like just completely got rid of her. So I hope they bring her back. I'm pretty sure they got renewed for season five already too. So if they would just like bring her back as a surprise for season five, I would, like everyone will love that I'm sure but I get it they need to introduce new characters to bring in new stories and everything like that and make everything exciting and new and fresh I will say this this trailer is way better than the season 3 trailer because the season 3 trailer just kind of gave away the ending of the first episode and you kind of knew really what was gonna happen but this season's trailer makes it look a little different and I'm excited to see how it goes down. See, now I was going to try to make predictions on what was going to happen this season, and I honestly don't know. It looks like Ander and Omar are becoming an 
open relationship with this new guy. Kai, obviously, she's getting it, as as I thought she would. It looks like she's having no problems, even though she's the janitor of the school right now. Rebecca and that new girl look like they have a little uh, love interest going on, which I do like a lot. There was one point where Guzman was like, stop lying, Samuel, so I don't know what exactly that's about. I mean, I'm sure now that they're friends, or I guess they're, I don't know if you would call them friends, but they're a lot better than they were previously. I'm sure they're going to be kind of spending more time together, but <clears throat> there, I'm sure there's going to be some sort of dichotomy where they're still kind of at odds with each other, even though I like them together, like, as a, as a pair. Uh, since the ending of season two, I think that they worked really well together, so. Yeah, Nadia, uh, and I'm glad Nadia's going to be in the season, but it looks like she's probably just reduced down to maybe, like, a phone call or two with Guzman which is really upsetting. I'm curious to see how the short story goes with Carla, uh, cause that's, that's where we're gonna see her and th they plastered her face and Nadia's face on the thumbnail. They, they must know that we want to see more of them. I'm glad they didn't kill any of those three characters off because it gives them a chance to bring them back for a future season. They probably will, and I really hope they do. Like, I hope they just don't get rid of the characters altogether because I feel like those three girls brought so much to the show. Granted, I'm sure the new people would bring a lot to the show. Well, maybe. I mean, Malik last season was kind of a misstep. Like, they didn't really need to bring him on. He was just kind of a nothing character. He was just like a plot device to get Nadia and Guzman and... Andrew and Omar to start fighting with each other again. I think Uri was a good one for last season, but he seems like he was just a one season character. Like there wasn't really much going for him after Carla was gone. Even though I did like his character, it made sense that they're not gonna bring him back. Every character that they introduced last season is no longer in it. I think they only introduced Malik and Yurai. Unless I'm missing somebody. Tell me if I'm missing somebody. I probably am. I thought that they were gonna have more of Lou, at least for one episode or something, because they talked about how some girls that she didn't know who they were saw her pick up the neck of the wine bottle um, and go into the bathroom with it. I'm sure they're going to introduce that later on in a later season. Like, they cannot just get rid of Lou altogether. They have to bring her back. Let's see what the comments say. Let's see what the comments say. I'm very curious. Oh yeah, and in the very beginning of the of the trailer, there's someone being put in an ambulance, and there's three people hugging each other, and I can't tell who those are. It looks like one of them's Samuel, one of them's Guzman, and the other one might be Kai? I'm not really sure. Yeah, pretty much everyone's saying that um, they're, they're gonna miss Polo, Lou, Carla, and Nadia this season, and that they're upset that Nadia and Guzman aren't together, which I am too. Like, I, I can't believe they set up such a great relationship with them over the first two seasons that it just got messed up over the stupid video that Valerio took, and then Nadia, for some reason, was mad at Guzman the entire time because of it. Yeah, let me know what you, your predictions are for this season. I'm very, very curious to see how this turns out. I'm I'm very excited. I'm in the middle of posting all of my reactions to season three, so uh, if you're interested in having me watch them, I have seasons one through three, all of my reactions on my channel, so subscribe, uh, because I'm going to be watching season four on here as well. Um, I have, I think, three or four more episodes that I need to post of season three, and then I'm going right into season four. And I'll also post all of the short stories too, I think. Uh, so I'm, I'm really excited about that. I wonder if they're gonna be full hour-long episodes or maybe if they'll be just like sh They said short stories, but it might be like 30 minutes. It might be an hour. I'm not really sure But either way, I'm gonna be watching all of that Let me know what you think is gonna happen this season what you're excited for what you're upset about and we'll talk in the comments And I will see you when season four uh, premieres on June 18th Bye